today you're going to learn about filter by Boolean mask with a bunch of stuff from my pantry. Sounds interesting? Check out the rest of this video. Alright, so like I said, we're going to cover filter by Boolean mask. I'll include some Dynamo uh, previews below as well, hopefully, that way we can map it one to one. But I always get asked about filter by Boolean mask, so I thought I'd make for a cool video to show a practical household item example. So what I have in front of me are some shelled peanuts in the shell, some pinto beans, and some table salt, regular old table salt. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this all together. And this represents a list in Dynamo of mixed items. This could be walls, this could be doors, this could be windows, all sorts of different things. Something that you just want to filter out. So you can filter these out based on size in this case. So right now I have a bit of a mess going on and I want to filter by the size of the object. So that would be our criteria. When it comes to a filter by Boolean mask, you need to filter by shared criteria between the elements. All of the elements in this jar share the criteria of size. The shelled peanuts, the peanuts in the shell are really big. The pinto beans are bigger than the salt but smaller than the peanuts and the salt is the smallest thing. So for our first filter, we're going to literally use a funnel. So that's our funnel, which represents our first filter, and we're filtering by the size. In this case, everything smaller than the peanut can get through. So we'll go ahead and put all this in, and we're going to have to shake it a bit just to get this to work. we should be able to get all of the salt and the beans out. So right away, we got all of our peanuts in the shell back with our filter by Boolean mask. So our first filter is done. In Dynamo, if you want to filter something down further, traditionally you'd have to kind of keep on filtering. You can filter by multiple criteria, but a lot of times you'll use multiple. And in this case, our peanuts or our uh, beans and our salt are still left. Let's say I want to separate that a little bit further. What I can do, oh, and this represents the in output port of our first filter by Boolean mask, by the way. So what I can do is if I want to filter this further, I can establish a new criteria, which would be the new size is the pinto bean, and then filter by that criteria. So let's go ahead and do that now. This represents another filter by Boolean mask. And now we have pinto beans and we have salt. So we split those three things back out based on that criteria. Our first one was our whole thing and we filtered out the peanuts. And the second one was we filtered out the beans. That was our target criteria for each one that went on the in output port of filter by Boolean mask. So yeah, it's kind of a, a weird example for it, but it's kind of the way I think of it a lot of the time. And I thought a visual would be really nice. So if you that helps out, let me know below and yeah, uh, have fun filtering things in Dynamo.